What percent of the students at University X are enrolled in a science course but are not enrolled in a biology course? Now, so let's quickly just uh, make the students who are enrolled in science course, students who are not enrolled in science course, students who are enrolled in biology course, students who are not enrolled in biology course. Now, this is the grade that we have here. What percent of the students are enrolled in a science course but not in the biology course? So we have to find the value of x in terms of percentage of the total students. Now, to use this grade for the statements, we have to copy this grade first. So here we have the grade for the first statement and here we have the grade for the second statement. Let's quickly look at the first statement first, which says that 28% of the students in University X are enrolled in a biology course. Now, students enrolled in biology course is 28%, which means the students that are not enrolled in biology course in terms of percentage will be 100 minus 28, that means 72%. But out of these 72, we don't know how many students here are come here, that means the students who have neither enrolled in science nor in biology. And therefore, we say that the first statement alone is not sufficient to answer the question and we can eliminate the two options option a and option d now we move to the second statement the second statement says that 70 percent of the students in the university who are enrolled in a science course that means total number of students that we have here in the science course 70 percent of them are enrolled in a biology course that means if we have a here then we have 0.7a here which means we have 0.3a here but we do not know the value of a and therefore the second statement alone is not sufficient to answer the question either so b option also is eliminated now let's combine the two statements so i am copying the entire data of the first and second statement in this common grid so we have 0.7a coming here we have 0.3a coming here we have a here 28 and 72 now there is one more very important deduction that we have to make and that is that the students what is this particular place this particular place represents the students who enrolled in biology but not in science but biology is automatically a science course which means that this part has to be zero there can't be any students who enrolled in biology but not in science therefore the most important part of this question was to understand that this particular place has to be zero. There can't be a student who enrolled in biology but not in science because biology is a subset of science itself. And now knowing this thing gives us that this 0.7a entirely should be equal to 28. This we have got from the second statement and this 28 has come from the first statement. Now that we have 0.7a is equal to 28, a becomes equal to 40 and x becomes 30 percent of 40 that means 12 which means the statements together are sufficient to answer the question and hence the answer to the question becomes option c where both statements together are sufficient but neither the statement alone is sufficient i hope you enjoyed the explanation thank you so much